Where does Nascimento go from here, Pat? Well, he can't go to the knee bar like he likes to do from there because obviously uh, Caprizano is sitting on the back of his calf with his shin bone. It's actually pretty painful. See how he's trying to grab it anyway. But that's a great defense. Matt Lindland used to do that all the time to guys, Brazilians who would go for leg lock from there and just sit on the back of that leg. Rolls onto his back, does Nascimento. Yeah, but then when they roll to their guard when they don't have that, actually it's a, a great opportunity to pass the guard, which he's in the process of doing now. Three minutes remains in the third round of five. Campesano not allowing Nascimento to get back to his feet, sits inside of half guard here. Nascimento doing his best to control the posture of the champ. Not allow Campesano to work the ground and bounce. From that half guard position, Campesano knows that he's a little bit susceptible to leg locks. He keeps shutting that down on him. Again. The leg again. It is the specialty of Alan Nascimento. Loves the submissions on the legs. You may remember that beautiful knee bar he put on at Teriaka at Legacy 12. In this tangle of legs, he could actually pass the guard and end up cross sides here. If he just scoops that far leg with his left arm, he's falling down pretty low. Ooh, now he's going for the cross side heel hook. Shimento, a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu under Marcos Barbosa. First hammer fist there from the Brazilian. Gotta keep the weight on that leg, keep it from getting to that heel. Pizano trying to get that leg out. Now he's got the knee pinch. Oof. Great game going on here. A lot of technique. Nascimento, who did the hard yards, training with the likes of Charles de Bronx Oliveira. Nascimento scooping his hips back in, even though he's getting hit. Now he's got, ooh, almost had it. This is fun to watch. What should Campesano be doing here, Pat? Like the hell out of there. And he does. Back to their feet. Campesano glances up the screen to gain the time in the round. He landed on top of his head there, the champ. Looks to take the back here of Nascimento. That's the risk you run when you throw that. It's called a Jap wizard, is the original term for it. Single arm throw. Give up your back if you miss it. Shimento, those legs up. This could be dangerous for Camposano. Nascimento trying to sink a triangle. He can drop to a leg lock again here if he slides that left knee through between the legs. The referee just cautioning him not to heel kick to the back of the head. Camposano turns the right hand in nicely. A lot of power coming down on that one. Final 10 seconds. Campesano gets a cut. Oh, beautiful hard shot off the right hand from Campesano. Nascimento doesn't like these. And luckily for him, they came just before the bat. There's a cut and a nice one at that under the left eye of Alan Nascimento. Absolute beauty that Campesano has opened up here. He's breaking, Will. Stay calm. Couple DMs. Grab the back and love too, okay? Now this is interesting, Pat. There's a cut under the eye of Nascimento and no one's working on it in the corner. That's no unfortunate. They need a cut guy in there working. There's no end swell being applied to it. No one is working on that cut on that Shimento. I just do not understand. Not paying attention, man. Now they got a t-shirt on it. Oh, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Third round going the way of Nascimento. He leads 29-28 on Pat's scorecard. I had to give it to him because of all the submission attempts. He was hunting a lot of them. Blood just streaking down the cheek here. 
of Nascimento. They're allowed to use the adrenaline here in Texas. Corner crew haven't even attempted to repair that eye. Meanwhile, here we are on the fourth of five. Skipping front kick there from Nascimento. Capizano doing a good job so far countering. Shimenzo puts him inside the closed guard. Capizano gets the elbow free. You know he'll want to go after that cut. Bludgeoning elbows and forearms here from the champion. Nascimento's got to control Camposano's posture. Yeah, and Nascimento's showing a great chin because he, he took some heavy shots standing up and now on the ground with those elbows. Camposano again ready to fillet with that right elbow. That's right, Orbital. Heel, right elbow. Up in there, right here. Right elbow on the side. What does Nascimento try from this position, Pat? Well, I think he needs to get submissions going again. Because uh, he's got to dig for the leg. You know, he does a good job of setting, up, setting his position to where he can go for a leg, a triangle, a numa plata, get something going. That's a rib crusher right there. Uh, it will break your ribs. If they get it low enough, it can break your lower ribs. Tremendous like a boss here, Nascimento squeezing those legs and now he gives up on it. It's like having a boa constrictor just wrapped around your ribcage. First guy I ever saw do that actually was Sam Hoger. He was great at it. He had massive legs, so he crush your ribs. Up kick there from Nascimento. Campesano tries to plow with the left hand, spins around to take the back over Brazilian. Boom with the right hand. Back again, Campesano. And then off the left. Not connecting as cleanly as he'd hoped. But he's not getting crazy. He's taking his time. He's making sure that most of these count. He's going to land them, make them count like that. Yeah, he's hooking the foot here on the leg of Capizano. Referee cautioning. Is he going to deduct a point here from Capizano? He will. He got his Don turnage. Head. Is going to have point. a point deducted from the champion pack. I'd like to see a replay of that if we could. I've been telling him. Point. No caution. Point. Was a, I've been warning him the whole time. No, there was a caution to Nascimento previously, but not to Camposano from what I remember. You got five minutes. No, 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 no. You got five minutes. Over here. Nascimento giving some time to recover. Who's and jeers from the crowd here, not happy with referee Don Turnage's. Decision. There it is. Not there. Yeah, he was kind of turning his head too at the same time. He was, I don't think he was deliberately hitting him there. He turning his head away. The hammer for strike was definitely on that the back one, of the yeah. head. And it has cost a point for the champion Camposano here in the one fourth left. round. Wasn't much of a warning there. Huh? How much time on the timeout? Don Turnage is huh? speaking with ringside officials here. Both fighters look like they're ready to go on. He's got 120 left. Don Turnage looks like he's just making sure that the point has been deducted. Are you good? Shimento says I'm okay. Ready? Ready? Campazano has some ready? ground to make up Fight. now. Let's go. Here comes Camposano, Pat. He was having problems with his balance before they got restarted. You can see him weave over onto one leg. Camposano wants him on his back, gets him on his back. He said to us yesterday, Nascimento won't be able to stop my takedowns, won't be able to take me down. Elbow. Got to be careful, do not strike the back of the head again. It's already been one point off here for Camposano. Crunching that calf again of Nascimento. Yeah, very painful on the ankle to get it in the right place. Right 
Ivy rib cutting from Campazana. Under a minute and a half remaining here in the penultimate round. What has been a fantastic battle for the strap. The make, uh, mistake Ma Massimiento is making is he's lifting his near leg to get up instead of his far leg and pushing back into his opponent. They're force pushing into you and you pushing back into them. Actually assist you in standing up. And Pisano trying to work some GMP. There's the elbow. He wants to go after that cut on Nascimento. He does so. Nascimento felt it. He immediately put the fingers to the cut. Nice job catching that punch with his foot that time also. That left hand that was coming over with a lot of... There's going to be a lot of smoke coming off that one. Did a good job of blocking that. Not too hype. In 35 <laughs> seconds time that the court of Nascimento goes to work on that cut. They didn't between previous rounds. Elbows. Got that wrist control. And Bizzano now choosing his targets very carefully. End of the round. Big hello also to legacy fighter Pete Spratt. The secret weapon who is watching live on Access TV. I know you're loving Friday Night Fights, Pete. Kick on the leg, knocked him off balance, and then landed some good punches. Company's on the doing a great job on the ground here from no whether he's in the guard, cross sides, half guard, or having Nascimento's back. He's landing a lot of nasty elbows, a lot of good punches. Kid has some great ground and pound showing it here tonight. One more round to go in our championship fight. Pat, let's get some comments from the super coach. First of all, if you're in Campesano's court. Campesano's doing a great job. He's getting the takedowns. He's controlling him on the ground now. He needs to continue doing that, Nascimento. Needs to get after it. I think he uh, needs to score big in this last round and get a knockout. Final round. Big outside fight kick from Campesano. Doubles up on it nicely and backs up Nascimento. Gets a takedown early as a champion. He's opened up strongly. They still did not go to work on that cut of Nascimento. In the corner, you can bet the Campesano will go to work on it. Should he get the chance here? Two right hands, make it three, make it four from the champion. Oh, and that one just thudded into the side of the head. I think Nascimento has been hurt for about two or three rounds in this fight. Continually just, uh, his balance doesn't seem there, not able to stop takedowns as well. And Shimento is feeling the experience. Nice. Here he is in familiar territory, trying to get a submission on the right leg of Campesano. Has to get that leg to bend 90 degrees. That's when that heel hook's going to be effective. Going for an ankle lock right now, Achilles. Going to be difficult to get on Campesano. Yank that leg out and does so, Campesano. Boom with the left hand. Shimento not handling this ground and pound well. I love Campesano's style, man. He throws punches from everywhere. Great base, great balance. 